uh, good morning. Some few <laughs> minutes to afternoon like to you, to Fred <laughs> in the morning. Let's take a look at some of the friends that we do have for you this morning. Gospel singer Bahati posted a photo of himself wearing a hat in church in promotion of his new single with David Wanda called Dogondogo. An agreed fan on social media asked Bahati to read the book of First Corinthians which is say it states, and I quote, it is very much wrong to wear a hat in church. Live alone even in public offices. You can't sit or talk with a hat on. Another user, AC, said, and I quote, stop confusing us, Bahati. You are now a socialite looking for ways to capture people's attention. Fred and Muli, just a quick one. Do you think Bahati was wrong uh, to wear a hat in church? Well, he was shooting a music video. Uh, sometimes I think some of this criticism on social media is unwarranted, surely. <laughs> oh, all right. Uh, Fred in the movie right there says people should be considerate. He was shooting a video and sometimes you don't expect him to shoot a video in rags, for example. All right. Moving on to another story. Avril says he did not date... Uh, Avril says she did not date uh, Diamond Platinum, that is top Tanzanian crooner Diamond Platinum back then in 2012 after releasing a song known as K Show. Avril says that she is also not a video vixen and the song was released in 2012 uh, December with a lot of people speculating actually that Avril was getting down with Diamond Platinum but that she now says no it has never happened but maintains she keeps in touch with Diamond Platinum whenever she releases the music she gets uh, to Damos Blanham's on phone, that is to get his opinion about the song that she is about to release. So there you have it, a real, that is top Kenyan singer, says she did not at one point date Zari Hassan's Bay, that is Damos Blanham. Okay, and moving on to another story that has had people talking on social media, Kenyan rapper King Kaka has accused top boy band Saudi Soul of selfishness. King Kaka says... Saudi Soul has never assisted upcoming artists despite being trendsetters in the music industry. During a, re a recent radio interview, Kaka said Saudi Soul have the connections, finances and influence to help upcoming musicians get on their feet, but the boy band blatantly chooses not to help. King Kaka says unlike him, Saudi, uh, Saudi Soul have not started a recording stable, which he says his Kaka empire has gone away a long way in helping upcoming musicians. Let us watch. Kaka, make the statement. Um, yo, <laughs> it's a funny world, eh? So, Juzi Nilenda interview and I said, uh, Kumba, Sauti Sol are not helping out the industry as much. I mean, a huge fan of our man's. But they call it Germany, work on a gig size. Go, go, go in the tent. Waki vote your tenants do happy, I'll vote. Sindio? But we'll come post uh post yangu juzi, ya song yangu na run na fena, yo ranting. Mazen menda pejawa meto yo poster. <laughs> really guys. A poster. Poster. Sim guys at the poster. <laughs> Anywho. Um Miss out ni poster tu. But that's bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, the two uh, that the two uh, one is a group. The other one is a soul artist, uh, King Kaka and Saudi Soul. Right there, beefing, and we, it all emerged when uh, King Kaka appeared in a recent radio interview and said that Saudi Soul is such a big name out there. If you go to Nigeria, South Africa, all these big African nations, they know Saudi Soul. But when you come back home, Saudi Soul has not helped a single artist get on his feet. And Fred in the movie was actually laughing. Fred, is there some truth value in what King Kaka cool? No, no, yeah, I'm just, it's just interesting when you see these artists beefing, and I really don't see the basis of that beef. <laughs> but hey. All right, uh, Fred in the movie writer says it's a bit uh, petty, probably. There is no basis for that beef. And we can only wait and see how it gets down. And moving on to another story, which is a bit funny. Kenyan comedian Rico Mondi has sent online users into long terry laughter after posting a video to YouTube of him in a ring fighting an opponent who is gigantic. In a fight similar to that of WWE's big show and Shawn Michael, Rico Mondi seems to absorb a beating which finally saw him lose out. Let us watch the video. Might be having a new champion. It's over. It's over. 
What is that? Oh, 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 Eric is there. He's gonna finish him. Ladies and gentlemen, this is history. He's gonna finish him. Is he gonna do it? The ref is gonna count. The ref is gonna count. The ref is gonna not count. Ladies and oh, one, two, ladies and gentlemen. No, no, we have a champion. And it's not Eric, it's Gustavo. Gustavo, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my goodness, the crowd, the crowd. Oh, oh. Nothing uh, during the fight. <laughs> All right, they're doing the hand challenge. Yeah, will Eric survive this? <laughs> He's gonna do it. He's gonna oh, oh, he wants to stop someone. Up over. We All right, that is funny, man. Eric Komondi, right there, picking a battle he can't actually handle. <laughs> Okay, moving on to another story. Wema Sepetu has dismissed rumors that she is dating popular Tanzanian member of parliament, Freeman Bowie. In June this year, an audio conversation alleged to have been that of Wema Sepetu and the MP Mboe leaked online with fans speculating that the two were dating. In the conversation, a man believed to be MP Mboe was heard luring a woman believed to be Wema Sepetu to go for a getaway with him. After much persuasion by Mboe, the woman agreed. Wema now says, and I quote, I have never dated Mboe. I respect and literally fear him. I think the audio that was leaked in June was pure political. All right. To another story. Serena Williams' stepmother is out of love with the Williams family so much so that she alleges Serena is a victim. Her from the Florida home she's living in. Richard Williams, the 75-year-old father to famed tennis players Serena and Venus Williams, filed for divorce from the 35-year-old Lakeisha Juanita Williams in June after seven years of marriage. Now, Lakeisha says Serena's legal team has ordered her out of the Palm Beach house Serena owns with her father. That is a case of a child actually getting involved in the relationship of her parents. Serena wants uh, Miss Williams out of the house after the two had, that is, uh, Serena's father had divorced Miss Juanita Williams right there. And that's all from the United States of America about Serena Williams and the family and the family drama right there. Brings me to the end of entertainment segment. My name is Brian, of course. For more of such kind of news, log on to www.edaily.co.ke and uh, follow the same platform on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. My Twitter handle is at Real Brand of Court. Let's continue the conversation there. But before we end the segment, I hand you back to Fred in the Molly Fresh. Freddy, take it away. Thank you, Brian. The Brand of Court there with the latest in entertainment news.